Everyone has a favourite and everyone's favourite is different. This year's Turner Prize at the Baltic has opened up the world of contemporary art to people who may not normally have been interested in it. Well, I think it's great that it's here in the, in the North East. I think that's smashing that it's here. I don't know what the men who worked in this building many, many years ago, who had a bit of a work ethic, would think about some of the exhibits. Um, but I think it's very interesting. I'm really, really glad that we've been. It's good to move things away from um, London-centric things to bring them up north, uh, to the North East here. I mean, I'm no expert in, in contemporary art, but it really um, has captured my imagination. I've been interested and quite pleasantly surprised. I sort of enjoyed it more than I thought I might. I came sort of knowing really very little about art at all. The Turner Prize may be synonymous with the C word, controversy, but this year's shortlist is less startling and more thoughtful. Take Martin Boyce's atmospheric sculptural installation, for example, and his subtle attention to detail. Or Hilary Lloyd's portrayal of the urban environment. She uses sound and the moving image to examine the everyday. Then there's the accessible paintings of George Shaw. He uses humbral enamel paint from his childhood to depict scenes of a housing estate, also from his childhood. And in complete contrast, Carla Black's innovative sculpture featuring paper, paint and polythene. All very different. How would you pick a winner? Well, an absolutely impossible task, I think. I have an incredibly strong shortlist of artists this year. It is down to the, the, the taste, the decisions, the, the brainstorming of four members of a, a distinguished jury, um, how they make a distinction between painting and sculpture and film and installation. Who knows? It's, it's not an enviable task, but an exciting one nonetheless, I think. Who do you think is going to win then? I'd like it to be Martin Boyce. That's who I would choose. Very subjective art, but that's who I would choose. I think George Shaw is most accessible, at least, um, to most people, so I think that's probably why he'd be favourite. Um, I have a feeling the lady that made the pile of paper, she'll probably win.